Hey guys, welcome to another video in my channel, Go Girl Glowburn. My name is Glowburn, and to all who have subscribed to my channel, welcome back. And to the new ones, hello! In this channel, I share travel vlogs around Perth, Western Australia, and hopefully the whole of Australia in the near future. So as you can see in the title, and today's date, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, or Hearts Day, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm not really big on celebrating Valentine's Day, because my principle in life is to try and give love every single day, or every you know chance you get. I just find it so cliche and strange that you're showing your loved ones all these love for just one day in the whole year i that's strange like if you love them as much as possible wouldn't it be nice to share the love every single day or every chance you get you know it's just strange marketing strategy consumerism and all that stuff is just weird it's yeah so since tomorrow is valentine's day or happy hearts day or you know just a love yourself day spread the love day, whatever day you want to call it, I'm going to share with you 10 romantic things you can do in Perth, Western Australia. As I said, these things that you can do in Perth, Western Australia, the romantic ones, don't have to be just celebrated on the one day. They can be done or you can visit these places anytime you come to Perth. And I guarantee you they are one of my most favorite romantic spots. So let's get into the video. The first romantic place that I'm going to share with you is King's Park and this wonderful, wonderful view. You can have a picnic here, you can stroll around the park, or if you come during springtime, which is around September, then you can stroll around the botanic gardens and see all the wild Australian flowers bloom. I would guarantee that as a romantic thing to do. I don't know, there's just something about spring and flowers and romance, they just go so well together. And a tip, try to come towards sunset or the end of the day to see the city lights come alive and that in itself is a view to behold. Next place to go for a romantic night out is the South Perth foreshore overlooking the Swan River and the city light. So come here at night. I can't exactly pinpoint where it is but it's very close to the port where the Trans Perth Ferry docks from Elizabeth Key to South Perth. It's just a few meters from the jetty, and then there's this little jetty that you can actually sit on and look at the view. This is one of my favorite places to just sit down with my husband Graham and I don't know, just gaze at the city, think about our dreams, think about our plans, think about what we've accomplished. There's just something magical about city lights. I don't know, is it just me? <laughs> Next romantic thing that you can do is tour the bell tower and purchase a love lock. I personally have not done this, but I have toured the bell tower and seen all the love locks and that area is so pretty with all the fountains and all the love locks and then you can like look at all of them and whose names are engraved on there. If that is your thing, then definitely do it. It's, I would say it definitely is worth it. Number four on this list, if you are an adrenaline junkie or you just wanna go for a hike, you know, you're that kind of couple who wants to have a walk, not a leisurely one, more of an adventure type walk for your date day or something, then I would recommend going to Les Murdy Falls and you can also bring a lock with you at Les Murdy Falls such beautiful views you can see the cityscape from there you can commune with nature and actually in this vlog graham and i got lost so i'm gonna link that vlog in the description box below and at the cards up above number five on this list is c restaurant so that's spelled with a letter c letter c <laughs> this place i would say is one of the most expensive places i have ever been I I think dinner costs about $100 per person. 
and it's a fine dining kind of experience one amazing thing though about this place is the restaurant itself is situated at the top floor of one of the buildings on St. George's Terrace and it actually revolves not to the point that you get dizzy and puke that would be unromantic but you can actually see the whole cityscape or the surroundings of uh, CBD while you are having a romantic dinner Number six on this list are the beaches of Perth. There's just something about laying down a picnic mat, sitting down with your loved one and gazing out at the beach with the waves lapping on the seashore and probably watching a sunset as well. The beaches in Perth, Western Australia directly face the Indian Ocean so you can see the ocean for miles and miles and miles and miles and we get some of the most beautiful sunsets. So here are five beaches that I recommend for you to visit. I've made a video about it. It's called Five Beaches in Perth. I'm gonna link that in the description box as well. Go check it out as well as the cards up above. It's such a fun video. Next on this list is a day trip to Yanchip National Park. Everyday life tends to strip us sometimes of spending time with our loved ones. So make a day trip out of this. Go to Yanchip National Park, I believe, there's an entrance fee of $13 if I'm not mistaken, that's per car. So bring your loved ones with you, bring a picnic with you and probably you can picnic overlooking the lake there. You can also go and see some kangaroos towards night time. They love just lounging around and the koalas as well. Or if you are a bit adventurous, you can also go on a cave tour. I also did a vlog about this so please check the description box and the cards up above. Next up is Rottnest Island. I've only been here the once, but man, is it beautiful. Make sure you guys know how to ride a bike. I don't, but for those of you that don't, you can probably go on the bus that, I think they sell all day tickets for $25, if I'm not mistaken. And you can explore the whole island, such clear waters, white sand, and cute furry friends, the quokkas, they're so cute. You can make it a day trip, or you can also come and camp for a few days. Next on this list is a down south trip. This is what locals call it, but it's pretty much a road trip to go to the towns down south. One place I definitely recommend is Bustleton. It's such a quaint and beautiful town but it features one of the longest jetties in the southern hemisphere and the only underwater observatory in the southern hemisphere as well you can make a day trip out of this it's not too far it's about three hours drive from perth cbd or you can stay there for a couple of days go camping or rent accommodation and lastly on this list is hillary's boat harbor i have just posted a video about that so go check that out. There's a lot of scrumptious restaurants that you can have a romantic dinner at. And this is also one of my favorite places to go on romantic dinner dates with my husband. One thing I can recommend is go for a day trip on Rottnest Island via Hillary's Boat Harbor. And then when you come back, watch the sunset at this location. This is one of my favorite views to watch the sunset in. It's just so different and awesome. And then, Probably go back to your accommodation for a quick shower and then come back to Hillary's Boat Harbor for a romantic dinner date. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video has helped you plan out that romantic date the next time you come to Perth Western Australia. Thank you so much for watching once again. Please subscribe for more vlogs about Perth Western Australia and Australia in general. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye!